Hello everyone, Brett back Altitude Scale Modeling. Today we're going to look at this special hobby kit, the H21 Shawnee Flying Banana over Vietnam. Ed Larry recently just released one of these, and I've been looking to get it, but I saw the special hobby one at the IPMS National Show and thought, well, there you go, get that one, it'll have a few extras in it. Nice Vietnam color scheme. It's a limited edition. Let's see, a little about the company, the kit, nothing else really on the box art. So, let's see what we get. This has always been a unique helicopter, one that I've been wanting to see and build. I got to take a few photographs of one in the Strategic Air Command Museum over the weekend. And then I get to buy one. So, three screws, metal, resin, one bag of plastic, instructions, decals. All right. Let's start with this. One tape bag, full of parts. Just get them all out of here. So, start with... We got the fuselage, very large, a good size of that, didn't think it's going to be that big. Very nice recessed panel lines and raised detail, lots of sprue gates, I don't think I've ever seen that many sprue gates. And a little bit of detail on the inside, and then... You've got the really nice detail on the fuselage. It's going to hold the wash very nicely. There's one open door there, one open door there. It's going to have that big glass part in front. So, there's the fuselage. Next, we've got rotor blades, a bulkhead, a couple bulkheads. Now, it looks like these two, these two rotor blades are sagged and this one's not. Don't know why that is, but if you look, you can see drooping down a little bit. I don't know if that's intentional or it's just because there's nothing here. The plastic warped a little bit. Didn't affect the bulkheads. Very good detail on the bulkheads. I haven't seen any flash or burring. And if we we're going to have some it would be on the edge of the blades. Next up, looks like the floor, instrument panel, bunch of little struts and parts. They do have some flash on them and a little bit of burring. But, you know, all in all, not looking too bad. Good floor detail. There's the instrument panel. Raised detail. I'm guessing we're going to get the um, instruments as decals. Here we have, looks like the tail rotors. Some more parts to the rotors. Various little odds and ends. There's the throttles. But again, good detail. The smaller parts do seem to have some burring and some flash on it. Nothing major though, nothing you wouldn't expect. Special Hobby doesn't do big runs. And I'd never actually seen this on their website. So I picked it up. It cost $60, so it wasn't cheap. But I'm hoping it goes together well. And I'm hoping the resin parts and the decals make for some interesting building. 
wheels are in halves. Those do have some massive spur gates on them. And there's a lot of flash and burring on here. So, you see the wheels right here? They've got these big, huge, flashy spur gates you're going to have to clean up. You're going to have to clean up these. These. In order for the halves to go together, you're going to have to sand these down. Because they're on both of them. So to get an even finish, you're going to have to sand them down. Same with all these other ones. Here, here. There's flash and burring on these parts along the edge. So, not perfect. But it is a challenge. That's why we model. Make something out of nothing. Alright, this bag is sealed. It's got the clear parts in it. This is a nice big fat clear part that goes on the front and the top. The two doors and the side doors. I don't see any seams. I don't see any flaws. And it looks... they all look pretty clear. You can see all that. So the clear parts were done really well. Masking their rays there, but I'm hoping there's going to be a masking set. There is an ejector pin mark right here, but I'm hoping that that's painted up. Same with here, and I know that part's painted up. So it'll be okay. Very nice clear parts. So let's see what they gave us in the way of resin and other bits. We got some white metal. See, it has two rotor blades. These are the top hub parts. And they look very nice. And they're both the same, which makes sense. But the detail on them, very good. No flash. No burring. Well, they're very nice. Nice touch. You are going to have to add some weight to the front of this because the big fat tail in the back is built to be a tail center. So you're going to have to add a bunch of weight to the front. And this won't help because one will go in the front and one will go in the back and I'd balance it the same. See what they gave us in the way of resin. Always be careful when dumping out your bags of resin because you could have little parts like this one in here that I'm going to leave in there that could have broken off from something. This looks like another part for the rotor. And we've got little parts. Yeah, that one part that's in the bag broke off from here, whatever those are for bunch of little parts. This is going to need some flash cleaned out of it. Some more little parts. So, not a lot of resin, but a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got color callouts. Yeah, we got some PE. In with the decals. Decals aren't cartographed, but they who printed them, so let's check that out. Printed by Abbey Print. I have not heard of them. But the decals look very nice, very flat, semi-gloss maybe. Not a lot of carrier film except between these two here. Some interesting one, like a grasshopper helicopter, a little dog. Got the writing is clear on everything. So several U.S. Army ones. So you can only see the carrier film bad on that one right there. Just need a good setting solution for it and you'll be fine. 
Here's our little bit of PE. Not Edward thickness, a little damage to these vents here. I'm guessing these are intakes. The vents. Looks like a hook of some kind. I don't see any seatbelt harnesses. That's part of an instrument panel. But, not bad. You can see the, the vents. You can probably see better on this side. A little bit of damage to it. Nothing to cry home about, but if they'd have taped it up or something, it would have been better. But, nice little PE parts. Put them back in the bag behind the decals so we don't get scratches on our decals. Which is where they had them, most behind the decals. So, nice decals. Books falling apart. Color call outs. Uh, Cherry Boy 93 from Vietnam in 1963. And Transport Company from Vietnam 1963. And Chicken Runner from Vietnam 1963. And SOC Trang Tigers from 1963. Got that nice orange stripe on top. That's pretty cool. So is this one. This is the same one from later in 1963. Same company. And stencil data. Not a lot, but just enough to make it interesting. I'm probably going to go with this one because I like the Vietnam Tritone camo. But we'll see, but probably go with that one. Alright, let's get these instructions. Typical short run kit instructions. Just normal pieces of paper put together like so. The history of the helicopter. You can freeze that if you want to read it. Sprue maps, which is nice because they're numbered and a good touch. White metal parts, PE parts, color callouts for guns, Mr. Color. Which is a nice little touch. Busy instructions. Lots of detail. You have to pay close attention to these. Step one's a cockpit, of course. Step two is the interior floor that's got some Seats or beds, I'm not sure what those are. Bulkheads, fuselage halves together. Oops. So it goes like this. Fuselage halves, clean up all the pins and putting the windows in. And then putting the interior in. Then we go over here, putting parts in the tail. Then Okay, so three is cleaning it up, not putting it together. Four is putting the first part of the front half of the fuselage in. Five is putting the tail parts in. Six, I guess, is putting it together. It just doesn't say it. And all the parts to the outside. Seven is doors and various other parts. Eight is the same thing. Nine is the other side and the bottom. 10 is landing gear, which is nice because you don't put the landing gear on until you're done painting. 11 is the rotor blades. And then this tells you the angle of things. Actually, this is a whole different kit. It's in like a little advertisement. There's the rotor blade. This tells you the angle of things. The fins. So, there we go. Special Hobbies little... Shawnee Flying Banana. The kit I've always wanted to build. Like I said, I was going to get the Italiari one, but this one caught my eye and has a few little extras that'll make it nice. And some good paint schemes. This is the one I'll be doing. Cherry Boy. Hmm. Could be Ivan's, huh? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.
Remember, don't be a kid collector. Be a kid builder. Go start or finish a build today. You know you've got something on yourself you want to finish. Thanks and have a good day.